Hey guys, we stopped with explaining the physics of the MDV bus. Now I'm going to continue to explain you what logically happens. The vending machine controller is the main unit controlling the vending machine. That can be a old fashioned controller, it can be a PC, it can be a Mac, it can be anything which basically knows how to talk to the MDV bus. And to talk to the MDV bus, ideally you take the MDV USB interface of Kibix that's my company, where we basically allow you to use a standard USB port coming in here to talk to the MDB bus going out here. So in this function as a master, this interfaces a controller, PC of any kind to the MDB bus. So what happens when your controller wants to talk to a peripheral to get money in the best case, it basically talks, sends a message to these slaves and asks them, hey, do you have any update? Is there a card? Is there credit? Is, did somebody put in coins? And they answer back if they are asked only. They answer back for the controller to the master and say, yes, I have one dollar. I have five dollars, whatever. So that's how the MDB communication generally works. The master speaks out and a one of the slaves answers back. This is why it's called master-slave principle. The master always drives the communication. So for applications where you want to have your own master, your PC, your Raspberry Pi, or your little fashion controller, whatever, you will need a MDB master interface here, from Kibix, of course, to talk to the peripherals. So if you want to connect this thing to your embedded PC to accept a dollar to play a game, you will connect this, via the MDV interface and USB to your PC.